Have you ever wondered if you should follow a detox? Detox treatments and enemas have been on the rise, from charcoal-filtered lemonades to detox teas. The variety is staggering, with each one promising to cleanse your body and deliver a fresh start. But what's behind this detox trend that's sweeping the health and wellness landscape? The concept of detoxification isn't a new one. In fact, it's been around for about a thousand years, often interwoven with religious practices and rituals. Fasting, for instance, was seen as a way to cleanse not just the body but the soul as well. Over time, this idea has been repackaged and rebranded to fit into our modern lifestyles, leading to the plethora of detox treatments we see today. Detoxification, in its simplest terms, is the process of eliminating harmful substances from our bodies. To achieve this, detox treatments use a variety of methods, from liquid diets and herbal supplements to enemas and saunas. The goal is to help our bodies get rid of toxins that accumulate from our diet, environment and lifestyle. Detox treatments have gained popularity for a variety of reasons. Some people turn to detoxes in an effort to lose weight or kickstart a healthier lifestyle. Others use detoxes as a way to reset after a period of indulgence or to remedy the effects of a chronic condition. The appeal of a quick fix is undeniable and the marketing of detox treatments often plays on this desire for instant results. However, it's important to note that not all detox treatments are created equal. Some can be beneficial, while others can be harmful. It's also worth noting that the body has its own natural detoxification system, largely carried out by our liver, kidneys and digestive system. Despite their popularity, it's crucial to understand what detoxes can and cannot do for our bodies. The key is to approach them with a healthy dose of skepticism and a commitment to making informed decisions about our health. Remember, what works for one person may not work for another, and what seems like a quick fix could have long-term consequences. So before you jump on the detox bandwagon, it's worth taking a closer look. What's the largest internal organ in our body? Yes, it's the liver, and it plays a crucial role in detoxifying harmful substances. Let's delve into the fascinating world of our liver. Nestled in the upper right part of our abdomen, the liver is like a super-efficient processing plant. It takes in raw materials, in the form of nutrients from food, drink and medication and whips them into shape, breaking them down into components that are useful for our bodies. But that's not all. The liver is also a master waste manager. After it's done processing these substances, any waste that's left over is not just left to clutter up the system. With the efficiency of a well-run recycling plant, the liver gets these waste products ready to be excreted from our bodies. You might be wondering how it does that. Well. The liver packages the waste into a substance called bile. Bile then travels through our digestive system and eventually leaves our bodies when we, well, answer nature's call. Other waste products are filtered out by our kidneys and leave our bodies as urine. Now, you might be thinking, that's all well and good, but what does this have to do with detox? That's a great question. You see, the liver doesn't just process nutrients. It also deals with harmful substances that enter our bodies. These can be things like alcohol or other toxins. The liver breaks these down, rendering them harmless or turning them into waste that can be safely expelled from our bodies. So when we talk about detox, it's important to remember that our bodies already have a fantastic natural detox system in place and it's working for us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All those detox diets, supplements and treatments that are so popular, they're not doing anything that our bodies aren't already doing for themselves. And while some of them may be harmless, others can actually be harmful, especially if they interfere with the natural functions of the liver. So our liver is our natural detoxifier working tirelessly to keep our bodies clean. Ever wondered how your body handles a glass of wine or a pint of beer? The liver is the star player. This vital organ goes through a three-stage process to metabolise alcohol. Firstly, alcohol gets converted into a compound called acetaldehyde. Now, acetaldehyde isn't very friendly to our bodies. It's a toxic, short-lived compound that can cause cell damage. Thankfully, our liver doesn't leave it hanging around for long. In the second stage, acetaldehyde is rapidly converted into a less harmful substance, acetate. Finally, the acetate is broken down into water and carbon dioxide, which we breathe out or excrete. But here's the kicker. This process takes time, and our liver can only handle so much alcohol per hour. 
If we drink more than our liver can process, acetaldehyde builds up, leading to those unpleasant feelings the morning after. So, binge drinking can indeed put a strain on our liver, our body's primary detoxifier. There's a lot of buzz about detoxes like cayenne pepper and lemon juice, but are they magical elixirs? Well, let's dive into the science and debunk some popular detox myths. We've all seen the ads and heard the claims. This superfood will detox your body. That juice cleanse will purify your system. This tea will cleanse your liver. But is there any truth to these claims? Spoiler alert, not really. Firstly, let's talk about how our bodies process substances. Whether it's an apple, a cheeseburger or a spicy lemon drink, the liver treats them all the same. It breaks down the substances, filters out the waste and excretes it through bile or urine. There's no special treatment for your fancy detox ingredients. Secondly, the idea that certain combinations of foods or drinks can somehow cleanse the liver more effectively than others is frankly a myth. The liver doesn't need to be cleaned in the first place. It's self-cleaning, constantly processing and eliminating toxins without any need for assistance from a detox tea or a special diet. Moreover, many of these detox diets or products can actually be harmful. They can lead to nutrient deficiencies, electrolyte imbalances, and disruption of the gut microbiota, which plays a crucial role in our overall health. So if these detoxes don't work, what does? The best way to support your liver and overall health is through a balanced diet, regular exercise, adequate sleep, and moderation in alcohol consumption. It's not as glamorous or quick as a miracle detox, but it's what actually works, according to science. Lastly, remember that the best way to make informed health choices is to understand your body's functions and needs. Don't be swayed by marketing claims and flashy ads. Our bodies are complex, beautifully designed systems that don't need magic potions to function optimally. In essence, there's no quick fix or magic potion for detoxification. The real magic lies in taking good care of your body every day. While some people swear by detoxes for weight loss, are they really beneficial or could they pose health risks? We've all heard the stories of miraculous weight loss following a detox, but what's not often talked about are the potential dangers these methods can pose to our health. A primary risk associated with detoxes is the disruption of the body's electrolyte balance. Electrolytes are minerals that are crucial for many bodily functions, including nerve and muscle function, maintaining acidity balance and even hydration. When the body's electrolyte balance is thrown off, it can lead to symptoms like fatigue, headaches, nausea, and in severe cases, it can even be life-threatening. Detoxes often involve drastically reducing food intake or using laxatives, both of which can disrupt this delicate balance. For instance, consuming too little sodium, one of the key electrolytes, can lead to a condition called hyponatremia, characterized by nausea, headache, confusion, and in severe cases, coma or death. On the flip side, insufficient potassium can lead to hyperkalemia, causing muscle weakness, irregular heartbeat, and in extreme cases, heart failure. Another critical concern is the disruption of gut microbiota. Our gut is home to trillions of microorganisms that play a vital role in our overall health. They aid in digestion, support our immune system, and even affect our mood. Detoxes, especially those that involve fasting or consuming only juices, can disrupt the balance of these helpful microbes. This imbalance can lead to digestive issues, decreased immunity, and can even impact mental health. Moreover, weight loss from detoxes is often temporary. It's usually due to loss of water weight or muscle mass, not fat. Once you resume normal eating, the weight tends to pile back on, sometimes even more than before. So while detoxes might promise a quick weight loss solution, they may cause more harm than good. It's essential to approach weight loss and detoxification in a balanced and scientifically backed manner ensuring you preserve your health while achieving your goals. After all, isn't that the ultimate aim? If detoxes aren't the answer, how can we maintain liver health? A question that leads us to the heart of the matter, the best practices for liver health. First off, let's talk about diet. A balanced diet is paramount to maintaining liver health. This involves incorporating a variety of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins and whole grains into your meals. These foods provide the nutrients your liver needs to carry out its detoxification processes effectively. Moreover, 
try to limit your intake of processed foods and high sugar items, as they can overload your liver and impede its function. Next, we have exercise. Regular physical activity helps to burn triglycerides and reduce liver fat. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity activity each week. This could be anything from a brisk walk to a high energy spin class. The key is to find something you enjoy and stick with it. Now on to sleep. Adequate sleep is crucial for liver health. During sleep, your body repairs itself and rejuvenates its organs, including the liver. Aim for seven to nine hours of sleep each night to give your liver the rest it needs to function optimally. Moderate alcohol consumption is another important consideration. The liver is responsible for breaking down alcohol in your body, but excessive amounts can overwhelm it and lead to damage. Stick to the recommended limits, up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks per day for men. Last but not least, vaccinations. Preventive measures like getting vaccinated for hepatitis B and C can protect your liver from viral infections that may cause liver damage and even lead to liver cancer. So, make sure you're up to date with your vaccinations. By adopting these practices, you can effectively support your liver's natural detoxifying function. Remember, your liver is a powerhouse organ and taking care of it is an essential part of maintaining overall health. Supplements can be tempting, but did you know some could harm your liver? That's right, folks. While supplements are often marketed as a quick fix to various health issues, not all of them are as safe as they appear. Let's take a moment to talk about dietary supplements and herbs, especially those marketed for muscle building or weight loss. These products may seem like a shortcut to achieving your fitness goals, but the reality is quite different. Unlike prescription drugs, the regulation of dietary supplements is not as stringent. This means that the safety and effectiveness of these products are not always guaranteed. In fact, some supplements have been found to contain harmful substances that can lead to serious health problems, including liver damage. Now, this doesn't mean that all supplements are dangerous. There are many products out there that are beneficial when used correctly. However, it's crucial to approach these products with a sense of caution. Always research the supplement you're considering, look for any potential side effects, and consult with a healthcare professional before starting a new supplement regime. And remember, supplements are not a substitute for a healthy diet and regular exercise. They are meant to supplement a healthy lifestyle, not replace it. The key to achieving and maintaining good health lies in eating a balanced diet, staying physically active, and getting enough rest. It's also important to note that just because a product is labeled as natural or herbal doesn't automatically make it safe. Natural substances can still be harmful, especially when taken in large amounts or combined with other substances. So the next time you're tempted by the promise of quick results from a dietary supplement, remember to tread carefully. Take the time to understand what you're putting into your body and how it might affect your health. In the end, achieving good health is a journey, not a race. It's about making consistent healthy choices and treating your body with respect. And that includes being cautious with the supplements you choose to take. Remember, not every supplement on the market is as safe or regulated as it should be. The key to good health is understanding our bodies and making informed decisions. The human body, in its infinite wisdom, has been designed with its own intricate systems of detoxification and healing. The liver, our primary detox organ, is a master of multitasking, working tirelessly to filter out toxins and waste from our systems. It doesn't need a special tea or a lemon cayenne concoction to do its job. It just needs us to make sensible health decisions. In our quest for wellness, we often look for quick fixes or magical solutions. Detox diets and treatments have been marketed as such, promising to cleanse our bodies and boost our health. However, these claims are more often than not based on hype rather than scientific understanding. The liver processes everything we consume, whether it's a detox tea or a cheeseburger. There's nothing magical about these detox ingredients. Reducing our food intake, as most detox diets suggest, can lead to temporary weight loss, but also comes with risks such as electrolyte imbalance and disruption of gut microbiota. It's important to remember that sustainable health isn't about drastic diets or detoxes, but about balanced nutrition, regular exercise, sufficient sleep and moderation in all things. When considering supplements or herbs, especially those marketed for weight loss or muscle building, proceed with caution. 
These are not as well regulated and can potentially cause liver damage. Instead, consult with a healthcare professional or a dietitian who can guide you based on your individual health needs and goals. Dr. Gunter, a leading health expert, emphasizes the importance of understanding our body's functions to make informed decisions about our health needs rather than relying on marketed detox products. Learning about our bodies, how they function and what they truly need is the first step towards making informed health decisions. So, before you jump on the detox bandwagon, remember to make informed decisions about your health. It's not about following the latest trend, but about understanding your body, its needs, and how best to support its natural processes. Because the key to good health isn't in a detox package, but in our daily choices and habits.